Ladies and gentlemen, Governor Gavin Newsom of California signs a bill opening the door to pay slave reparations. So this came out on deadline September 30th, 2020. After watching last night debate, said California Governor Gavin Newsom on Wednesday, this signing couldn't come too soon. He was, of course, referring to an outcry after President Donald Trump declined to denounce white supremacist groups during his debate with Joe Biden on Tuesday night. Newsom signed an assembly bill 3121 into law Wednesday. The bill opens the door to the state paying reparations to black Californians, especially those who are descendants of slaves and specifically calls out insurance companies. Existing law request and regents of the University of California to assemble a cultorium of scholars and draft a research proposal, analyze the economic benefits of slavery that accrued to owners and the businesses, including insurance companies and their subsidiaries that received those benefits and to make recommendations to the legislature regarding those findings. Existing law requires the insurance commissioner to request and obtain information from insurers, license and doing business in the state regarding any records of slaveholder insurance policies issued by any predecessor corporation during the slavery era. Existing law requires insurers to research and report to the commissioner on insurance policies that provide coverage for injury to death of enslaved people. AB 3121 does not commit any specific payments. It calls for a nine person task force that will make recommendations for how reparations could happen, whether uh, through compensation or restitution. The task force created by the bill will consist of five gubernatorial appointees and four people chosen by the state legislator. The governor shall call the first meeting of the task force to occur no later than June 1st, 2021. It states, the task force is instructed to deliver recommendations no more than 12 months from that date. The task force powers, according to the law, include holding hearings and sit and act in any time and location in California, request attendance and testimony of witnesses, seek an order from a, a superior court uh, compelling testimony and compliance with a subpoena. For those who think slavery did not exist in California, there are these passages and many others from the state's official historical society on the subject. So California was one of those free states, but there were still people in California with slaves. California Constitution proclaims that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, uh, um, unless for punishment of a crime, shall ever be tolerated. Yet archives statewide contain evidence that slavery was practiced out in the open in California. In 1848, when the gold rush hit, white Southerners flocked to the state with hundreds of enslaved Black people, forcing them to toil in gold mines, often hiring them out to cook, serve, and perform a variety of labor. Sometimes fortunes were amassed on the backs of free labor. Yet California's place in the nation's history of slavery is missing from most historical accounts, and many are surprised to learn of its practice in the Golden State. Among those on the Zoom call for the signing were members of the California Black Caucus. Okay, and also Ice Cube, 
who was singled out specifically by the bill's sponsor. Assemblywoman Shirley Weber, as one of our real champions who has supported the effort, he also got a thank you from Newsom just before the signing. Cube later tweeted his thanks to the governor. Weber called the bill groundbreaking and pointed out that the bill were offered, authored uh, last year, long before the death of George Floyd and so many others sparked protests. A lot of people think we're responding to the moment, said Weber, uh, Weber but pointing out the imperative of going forward. Okay. We're responding to the history of California. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not shocked that slavery was in California. I, I know it was all over. Despite what these people try to tell you, you got to understand, they know how bad this look. That's why they're going to keep lying and keep lying. I don't even talk to these folks about slavery anymore. I can't even remember the last time I did because it's just counterproductive. It seriously, it, you know, if you want to know about slavery and this is just my way of thinking, then you pursue the information and learn about it on your own. But going to these folks, forget it. It, it is, it, don't waste your time. It, it is a waste of time and effort. All you're going to do is get more lies on top of the lies you were already told. What is the point in getting that? Not worth it. The new law represents a big step forward for racial equality. While some corporations were already leading the way to combat implicit bias, now all of California's corporate boards will better reflect the diversity of our state. This is a win-win as ethical uh, diverse boards have shown to outperform those that lack diversity. So y'all tell me what you think about this. California paving the way to pay reparations. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.